Well, hello there, people. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today, I wanted to give you a little preventative maintenance tip as I am doing some work on the electrical system on my Ford Sierra RS Cosworth. And dealing with electrical faults on these older Fords and older cars in general isn't exactly a very uncommon thing. Uh, and the Fords in this case isn't exactly known for having the best electrical system in the world, especially now when they're like 30 to 32 years old. Um, you will expect to see some electrical faults here and there. And many of these faults has to do with poor grounds and maybe poor connections and poor connectors. Um, not so much break in the wiring and such, but it's more of a connector issue. So that is what I wanted to show you in this um, video. Because say if you have a, a set of taillights and headlights that is in good working uh, order, you really want to do your best to keep it that way. Because finding good electrical parts these days for these cars isn't the most or the easiest thing in the world, you know. So you just want to keep a, a good working headlight or a switch in good working condition as long as you can so doing some preventative maintenance like i'm going to show you in this video is just a good thing and i've had some issues with the taillights on this car the usual christmas tree uh, stuff going on when you turn the turn signals on is all like flashy in the back here and it all has to do with poor grounds it's pretty easy um, <clears throat> obviously it can be have more more culprits than only a poor ground but often it is poor grounds and poor connections on these bulb holders so i decided to dig into this today and i wanted to take you along for the little session here at least i want to explain what i've been doing here so you can go out and check this on your ford uh, or whatever car it might be uh, but these typical issues is specific for uh, or these parts at least is ford specific so yeah it goes for ford sierra cosworth this one here you have the one of the bulb holders and uh, what I did was basically to clean it out with some contact cleaner. And before I did that, I obviously removed the bulbs and I got some new bulbs. And the bulbs are not super expensive, so you might as well replace them. It's not the cost of a new bulb that's going to break your bank account. So you might as well just replace them if you're doing this work to make sure you have a brand new fresh bulb inside here. Next up, yeah, after yeah, I did I did this contact cleaner and I used a fine steel brush to brush off the corrosion that was on here and uh, then I blew it clean with some compressed air and one of the cool things is that there is some nice tools out there available uh, like this terminal cleaner which is a lot better to use than say sandpaper this is a very fine sandpapery finish on the outside here so you use this like this and you squeeze it together and you freshen up the surface here making sure you have good connection when you are putting on the connector so that is basically what you can do um, I did also put some silicon compound grease uh, on top of the some of the connectors here or the connection points for the bulb and stuff, which is to prevent this to corrode in the future. And you really don't want to overdo the use of this type of silicon grease. Uh, it shouldn't in many ways be necessary in the first place to add grease here, but as long as you just put a, a fine film of it, uh, it would be fine uh, just to prevent it from corroding. Um, so that is basically what you want to do with these. Uh, make sure all the connectors are straight in a way. And um, yeah, that there's no excessive melted plastic or, or anything. Then you will have to, to see if there's any um, fault in the print or the 
print board here in the first place but basically check the pins here check the connectors and or the sockets for the bulbs and stuff and put new bulbs with the correct uh, uh, what size and, and stuff like that in here uh, next up is to check the connector itself on the wiring loom and the issues that you might see on these connectors is that the connectors are loose they're widened out so that makes for a lot of resistance and resistance then again leads to heat and heat leads to melted plastic and then you have it going basically so you want to keep the connectors clean with a fresh fresh surface and you also want to keep them tight so the first thing you want to do is to spray on some contact cleaner before you use this terminal cleaner and how you use it is basically the same way as you uh, used it on the pins here just uh, vice versa or the other way around in a way you use just one of them to stick this in and out like that and you freshen up the surface between or the between the connectors there and what is also important on these is like i said you want them to be tight so you stick that in like that so you squeeze the connector together and you just do like this a bit can you see so then you just tighten up the clamping force in a way so when you now stick this onto the the pins there there's good connection between the female connector here and the pin on the bulb holder so that is basically what you can do um, you can go to some more extremes and measure the wiring from here and up to the front of the car just to make sure you have a wiring that doesn't have a lot of resistance built into it uh, I have done that with some of the wiring I've done that with the with the fan um, the the blower fan um, for the for the uh, inside of the car just measured some some wiring there and make sure that the wiring was uh, with as little resistance as it should be so that is the thing you can do also here if you're going to take it to the extremes but for now i'm not doing that i have just cleaned the connectors made sure i have proper connection here and that there's no melted plastic anywhere which uh, which um, makes it um yeah you don't want to see any melted plastic if you have melted plastic here it's a sign of it being too hot meaning too much resistance aka you have to do something with the connectors um that is to clean them and make sure you have proper connections so there's no point in over explaining stuff here eight minutes is way too much i just want to take you along like i said on this little um mission to fix my uh, taillights here and um yeah that's about it so if you do have any questions people please put down your questions in the comment section and uh, i will be happy to answer them there and read about them uh, or read them there so um i hope you liked the video and thank you very much for uh, watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my future videos so until then i hope you have a great day and um, see you guys later Bye-bye-bye. See ya.